It is election day and voters in four of our biggest counties will get to choose new leaders and representatives. But in Fulton County, there is only one race and it will decide the next leaders of the school board. Atlanta News First, Chelsea Bimefor, live in downtown outside the APS building. Chelsea, you spoke with several of those candidates tonight. Yeah, Sean, there are five seats up for grabs tomorrow, though one of the candidates is running unopposed. But whoever wins will have the unique task of picking the next APS superintendent. That position has really been a revolving door over the last few years. I am running again because there's still work that we have to do as school board members. Five Atlanta public school board seats are up for grabs on Tuesday's ballot, and all five incumbents are hoping to keep their position. I was elected two years ago, and one of the main things I was focused on was literacy. And it takes a little more than one year and 10 months, you know, to get some major work through. In four of the five races, there is a challenger, including in District 3. We spoke with candidate Ken Zeff Monday night via Zoom. The board has two responsibilities, hire and fire the superintendent and approve a budget. And I think in both cases, the board has lost its way. Zeff is a former superintendent of Fulton County Schools and is focused on improving leadership at the top. District 9 candidate in Koyo F. Young Lewis says she wants to help design a school system that works for every child. It was my goal to make sure that we have an equitable school system that delivers excellence so that no matter where a child lives, no matter their race, their place, or their ability, they get access to an excellent education. Whoever is elected to Tuesday will be part of the team that oversees 50,000 students, allocates a $1.6 billion budget, and selects a new superintendent. We need a leader who understands the governance functions of the board, who understands the budget management and federal budget management specifically, and, and the compliance that it's going to take to ensure that our district is moving forward in a healthy manner. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, and should a runoff become necessary, that is scheduled for December 5th. Reporting live in downtown Atlanta tonight, Chelsea Bime 4, Atlanta News First. Big day tomorrow, Chelsea. Thank you. We're